Hello guys, this is Papumpa back at it again and today we have Fable Synchro Madness. So, uh, I had this uh, thought that Fable could actually be so freaking fun to play. Well, when you have tons of special summons and uh, a skill kind of broken that you can use even, even more than once per turn, and no restrictions from the extra deck, well, it becomes crazy enough to enjoy it. But before jumping right into it, guys, just a quick reminder, if you enjoy the content, please leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it, and it really helps me a lot. Let's jump right into it. So, I'm here with Sora Percy, but you can actually use this skill on any character, because it's an archive skill, and it's, uh, of course, as I told you, fabled. So... Uh, probably this is gonna be just the first version of Fabled, uh, because as you can see right here, I'm focusing on summoning turn 1 Shooting Quizzer Dragon. And the, poten the potential of this deck is not only Quizzer turn 1, because when you break, ideally you could go into a Black Rose Dragon during your opponent's turn, that could be summoned with the effect of Formula Synchron, or you can actually sit on an Herald and potentially also Groza. Um, there are not. I mean, there are some lines of combos that you can follow, but it all depends on what you draw, and this sh this should happen to be kind of like uh, obvious. But the thing is that uh, you keep on drawing so much. Like few raging uh, summons are kind of guaranteed. Like really. And each time you summon this guy, if you have one or less cards in your hand, you draw two. Actually, you draw until you have two. So, the, the purpose of this, of course, is you want to summon Raging most of the times when you when you have no cards in your hand. So, you can maximize its effect and get two draws. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, so, let's start from the Spell and Trap cards. That is the most easy thing, right? As we have only three. We have the Field Spell that can be searched with the... the, the actually, guys. Actually, actually. Let's start from the skill. So, let's have a look at this. You have three effects, but the first one is just a restriction. It says you cannot normal special summon uh, monsters except Fable. And that's fine because this restriction works only for the main deck. So, as you can see right here... From the extra deck, you can summon whatever you want. Then you have two skills, two other part of the skills. The second one is that you send one card from your hand to, to the or field, the grave, to add a fable card from your graveyard to your hand. Well, this second effect works very nice to uh, to abusing Grimrose effect. Uh, keep, keep in mind, Grimrose is a card that was just added to the pool that is obtainable with box chips, so you can get triple of these. It's your searcher, it's what you want to start, uh, of course, your duel with. Uh, why the second part synergizes with this? Because basically, with the Grimrose, you're gonna search the Kushano. And why? Because Kushano is basically your main way to activate, to trigger all the effect of Fabled. Well, most of the Fables effect activates when they are discarded to the graveyard. Well, when you have Kushano into the graveyard, you can keep discarding card from your hand to make it come back to your hand. Well, if you find a way to send you back to grave, that means you can use its effect again because almost all of the effects of this fabled are not once per turn. So this means you can potentially use Kushana's effect anytime you, I'm, uh, I mean, as more times as you want. There are no restrictions. Same for Grimrow. You can keep on discarding Grimrows, even the same one if you have if you find a way to take it back to your hand and keep on searching. Infinite times. That's why this deck is broken. Same thing for this. You can keep on discarding a card to special summon this boy for your hand. Same thing for this. You can keep on discarding this guy, a special summon a level 4 or lower fable monster from your grave. That's what's Beautiful. The only effect that I have once per turn are Marcusia, uh, both the effect of searching and special summoning itself, and the effect of Abang. You can special summon this card, this card from the graveyard, but just once per turn. Um, and yeah, and yeah, that, those are just the one. Even this guy can be, can be activated basically forever. So basically, your second effect of a skill is uh, for these two combo, Grimro and Kushano. 
And then we have um, the third effect. Shuffle one Fable card from your end into the deck and add a Fable card from your deck to your hand. Plus, this gives you an additional Normal Summoner Grimrow. Not gonna lie, you're not gonna always need the additional Normal Summoner Grimrow, but sometimes it can come in handy as, of course, an additional level 4 on the field that you can combine with the Chawa Tuner level 1 to summon a Raging. Uh, well, let's actually go into the combos right, right now, right? So, let's go combo by combo to summon all of the um, extra deck monsters. So, your first one is gonna be Formula Synchron, uh, but this is pretty easy to see, right? How you're gonna summon this? You just want Chawa plus Luri in your hand, uh, because if you have both in your hand, it's so easy. You can just use Chawa's effect, discard Luri's to special summon Chawa, alone and th then when Ludi is discarded well it gets special summon back without a normal summon one plus one is two and you have your first draw then you have uh multiple ways to summon raging because you have multiple raging to summon and well you have the most common one is basically having a grimrow grave um actually uh, sorry a grimrow on the field plus a level one chawa because it's your tuner or actually the special summon of Marcosia itself, plus Chawa to give you a level 5. And another way to summon uh, the level 5 region is the combo A-Bank from your graveyard plus Ganashia in your hand. Why? To summon A-Bank from your graveyard, you need to discard a card. Well, if you discard Ganashia from your hand, you're not, no, no, you're not only gonna summon the A-Bank from your graveyard, but you're triggering the effect of Ganashia because when it's discarded, you special summon it. So you're gonna, you got two plus three, and it's five. Of course, why we're going through this? Because uh, five plus five plus two is Quasar, and that's what we're trying to go for. Well, Cruz is just your mm, your jolly. So basically, you can do all of this uh, raging in so many ways. Uh, of course. Uh, you can summon a bank and maybe discard the Ganasha in a second moment, uh, so you're not forced to summon a bank discarding the Ganasha. You're gonna summon a bank and then summon Ganasha in a second moment. It's not, of course, a problem. Uh, you have also this level two Nozuchi just in case you can't do the, this combo because you're missing one of the pieces. So you can go simply with the special summon of Nozuchi and just normal summoning Kushano because keep in mind you also have a normal summon and the real jolly of this deck is actually gross. This guy is so nice. When you discard it, you can summon any uh, level 4 or lower monster from your graveyard. Only the level 4 or lower fable monster. So any of these guys can be summoned. You can also summon another Cruz as long as it is, it is uh, as it is not the one you discarded, right? So except this card. But if you have another Cruz, that's totally fine. Keep in mind that. So and then we have the the field spell that. If you already have a Grimrun in your hand, it's gonna be the card you wanna search with the third out of the skill. Uh, and uh, we have the uh, Fable Treason, just one because it's searchable uh, with the Marcosia as well. And it's basically another interruption, it's gonna be, it's be pretty useful. You can just adjust your plays depending on what you have to face, as you will see against a uh, Phantom Knights, I had to get rid of, of um, Ophion before going into my place because otherwise with Ophion I couldn't summon anything so I went for the Treason play in order to pop the Ophion and then go into my place as you will see in the replays. Well, this, tree, this Fable Treason is so cool because you get a special summon um, from the grave of a Fable monster, then you get the pop of a face-up card on the field, of course to interrupt, to this to dis for disruption. Plus, you get to discard a card that in this deck it's actually useful because whenever you discard a card, you trigger a fable, a fable's effect. Last but not least, a very nice tech charge into a dark world. Now, if you have already summoned uh, most of your synchro monsters, actually, at least. You just need a Chawa plus a Grimmer in the graveyard, and I can assure you it's so easy to have both in the grave. Uh, if you have both in the grave, well, the charge plus a cruise basically means to summon both back from the graveyard, because charge, special summon a Fintai monster, and you're gonna 
uh, target the, the Grimro, and then the cost of charging to a Dark Ward is discarding a card, and, you just, uh, and discarding a Cruise, you will trigger its effect to summon a Fable Monster, so basically charging to a Dark Ward plus Cruise, it's uh, a combo to give you another level 5 summon. Um, and that's why it's super nice. Why we're playing just one? Uh, because you it's hard once per turn, and with all the cards you draw, it's very likely to draw weight. Also, it's not mandatory. It can just help you going into more combos, but it's not needed. You can summon Quasar even without or without the charging to the Dark Ward. It's just nice to draw it eventually, but you don't really want to see it in your starting end, right? So and that's it for the extra deck we have apart from the triple raging and the formula synchron the quasar of course you have black rose dragon as a valid alternative in case you don't manage to summon double raging it can happen uh and basically it happens when you start with all the spell and trap cards let's be clear uh but that's why we play so little uh but well uh, having a black rose doing your opponent's turn it's still the pretty nice of an interruption you know as you pop everything on the field uh but just in case you can also end up on a groza another very nice deck and uh, then a very nice choice in this deck because you can discard an effect monster to negate a monster's effect on the field so it's an interruption plus it triggers your uh fables effect because you can just discard a card and it, it can become either the undestructible by bottle by card effect or untargetable pretty nice not crazy but yeah super good but super nice uh guys um i highly suggest watching the replays uh the combos are tough to master uh because there are tons uh you you really need all of the time you have in the duels because it's really so tough it's so hard to play this deck uh, and it, it's not, you know, uh, um, a, a, just a path, uh, just the same path that you can follow every time in a duel. It's There are so many different paths that can bring you to the same result. Of course, I'm talking about Quasar, but it's tough and you have to play this deck a lot to master it. I'm sure that if, if there's some expert in Fable that's going to have found tons of misplays during my duels. But yeah... I've played this deck a lot in order to achieve the expertise that I have right now, and I think I don't have that much of expertise to be honest, but yeah, it's so fun because really you can go first, you can go second, like if you mind when you go first and you of course uh, aim, at, uh, aim at Quasar, um, and you're feeling kind of safe because of Quasar plus more cards, but when you go second, keep in mind that without your normal summon you could potentially start with a Black Rose. Yeah, and then going into your, all the other stuff. So that's super nice. Uh, anyway, guys, this is not the best version, in my opinion. Like, I think that with a proper deck, with a proper um, uh, extra deck that focuses maybe on the level 6 Endrave as well, the Fable the level 6, you could get even more uh, more out of this deck but yeah this was just a build focused on summon quasar and another negation that's it anyway guys enjoy the replays of course don't be afraid to uh ask me anything if you have any doubts i'll be glad to help and let's jump right into the replays here we go my boys first replay again set kaiba let's see what we have uh i think of course battle chronicle right uh let's see what we have here we had the field spell already we started with the, the skill to get the chawa uh because we already have the luri super nice so we got realm to begin with sending the kushano that's why we shuffle it back because you want it we want them we want it to be in the graveyard so we can keep on using grimrose effect keep in mind the only bad thing of grimrose is that you need a, mon a feeble monster on the field so that's why all this special summon comes in clutch and that's why when you actually summon chawa plus luri before going into your, your formula synchron summon you want to use grimrose effects and you're gonna see why i see effects in an effect because if you go into formula synchron well grimrose cannot be used anymore because you don't control a feeble monster so grimrose effect we grab a cruise then we go into Formula Synchron, as you can see, Syn Formula Synchron to draw a card, at this point Kushano, to discard the Cruise and get the um, the level 1 back on the field. Because we have Grimro again, we can just uh, use the additional normal summon. So this is not our normal number 1 normal summon, but this is the additional. And we have, there you go, we also normal summon the Kushano. But why did we do that? Because we wanted to be sure that we drew two cards with Raging. 
so there you go region uh, synchro summon dot draw to then contract fable to get the grimro and we got also the nozochi back at this point the effect of Riom to discard two card get the grimro but cruz's effect gets the effect because keep in mind you also have another effect of Riom. you can discard two cards to get the feeble monster from your graveyard back to your hand but of course when you discard you discard a feeble monster that was a cruise that activates effect and summons another cruise why a level two because three plus two guess what it's a five second raging super nice uh and then at this point grimro to get another cruise synchro summon into shooting quasar dragon then kushana to discard the cruise that summons the double two but well not the best of the hand as i wasn't able to summon a, uh, a herald as well but if you draw the right cards in the end and also if you just if i was not forced to to discard the charge into dark world well we could have had both another raging or another or also herald so he's got battle chronicle to begin with and i think he has just ultimate fusion to go um to go with uh, but he knew i could just negate it so instead of activating it he's just one double set then he attacked the level two but at this point we have all of the effect to activate again i use the effect of the field spell to get the green road discard the both the luri and the ganasha both the effects are activating we get two monsters on the field plus we normal summon kushano and at this point we just won the duel why because we summoned our second negation of the field he's got just two back rows we can negate both we won why because we can just attack at this point number one number two he could do something also if one of these is just um successors only just had one interruption it probably was the ultimate fusion but there's nothing he could do that's how you do it my boys there you go second duel my boys we have a gami that is playing what i don't know actually uh he's got the oh s force as you can see so he's got the gravidino out so he can grab the specimen i guess he already has the synchro chase triple set it's gonna be tough but we can go second we got marcosia to begin with discarding the abak because having an abak in the grave is always nice you know you can always summon this guy back from the grave eventually uh, uh we summoned the marcosia then we used grimmer as a fact to get what the level three why the level three because before going into your your plays guys you want to force the uh the s force chase uh that's why we went with um i went with the grim rose effect to use it again at this point kushano's effect um and, and then i went with the normal summon of kushano he's got the specimen to basically bounce to but at this point he didn't use this chase so i went into black rose dragon to pop everything and he just scooped keep in mind now we could have done so much stuff after we could have discarded the cruise uh the, the cruise with the effect of kushano that is in the graveyard and plus the effect of abank so abank plus ganasha alone it's a raging level five that gives you double draw and then cruise gives you said another another special summon so guys there's so much to do that's how you do it my boys there you go third duel my boys uh we have rockets and it's us to go first we got normal summon of a bank why we did that guys because we need to control a monster guys in the field to up to activate grimro that's why so we use the grimro as a factor to get kushano and then as i told you second part of the skill to get kushano to grave and grimro back to hand so we got another search right then we started with the Mm, the other the other skill the other part of the skill to get the luri at this point chawas plus luri combo to get formula synchron out on the field there you go uh, first draw then we got marcosi's effect perfect spare someone itself but we discarded ganasha that comes back on the field level five raging uh raging let us draw two cards and we got kushano's effect on the grave discarding cruz what do we need here level one tuner so guess what level one tuner will be with another rage and just the bad thing is that we already have two cards so no draws for us unfortunately um uh level 12 of course quasar so in this case as you can see that's why you usually want to have the um the field spell because in this case with the field spell we could have discarded two to get one so at least we would have drawn a card 
that's that's it. Then we're not done yet. Arbank special summon, then Kushanos again on the field, but still uh, we couldn't do more than that this time. Um, he's got boost sector launch. Just negated that because at this point it's either we negate the boost sector launch or an eventual quick launch. But we, we, we didn't know if he had quick launch. At this point, we were right. He didn't have quick launch. We're kind of in a good spot right now because we can do so much stuff. Uh, our bank's effect to special summon. And as always from the, the previous duel, Herald. Second negation, we don't care. We can just attack. Eventually, we can negate twice. Uh, once with Quasar, one with Herald. That's how you do it, my boys. There you go. Fourth duel, my boys, we have LP Boost Alpha of the Paradox Brothers, and we're going second. Let's see what he has. Luna Light Fusion to go into Cyber Dancer. Now, if we summon Quasar, we actually don't care about anything, like we're just chilling. Uh, but let's see what we have. Keep in mind, when you start with a, a trap card with the trap card or charge into the dark world, it's not always almost always not a good thing. So we start with the Marcosia getting Luri back and then Grimro to grab the Kushano. At this point, uh, mm, the skill to get the Grimro back. Grimro, we can use actually both to get the Chawa. At this point, normal summon Chawa to go into the first um, synchro summon of Formula Synchron, getting uh, a draw. At this point, Grimro to get the cruise. Uh, Kushano to discard and getting the, uh, the cruise in the graveyard. That will cause we summon the, uh, um, the level the Chawa, but that's the problem, right? As you can see, because we had two cards in end. So what I did was use the third part of the skill to get the Nozochi that we can that we can special summon by discarding and then setting the trap card. So we went with the Nozochi as a fact, just uh, to have no cards in end when we summon Raging, so that we can draw two cards. There you go, double draw, and then we got a bunks of fact to special summon, but we got a level four at this point. No more, uh, no more uh, quasar. That was the problem, but. We have a negation, we have an eventual quick play. So this is very nice, as you can see. We can discard a card uh, to pop, right? Then we have a nominee negation, and then, and then we have a quick play of a Black Opus Dragon. A quick clear the field. So we negated the wolf straight away, um, and uh, then it's got set a monster, but before the end of the main phase, Black Rose Dragon is here, popping everything. Uh, Yellow Martin to get the Moonlight Fusion, but he can't use it, and he has to end the turn. At this point, we got uh, Fable to get the, the cruise back to our hand, and this is one card combo, actually two card combo, charging to the Dark World the disc and to summon a Fiend Monster, then discarding the cruise as a cost to get the Chawa back on the field, level 5 Synchro Summon, double draw because we have no cards, that's so nice nice then we got the field spell um and the kushano's effect to trigger the cruise guess what we're bringing back another level two non sooner normal summon kushano guess who's coming S third actually raging to draw two cards again kushano's effect to trigger the effect of ganashia that comes back on the field grim road to get another cruise uh, and then double effect of this to actually I have even more and summoning a tuner monster to go into the Gromro, the level 8 pin type, but he's scooped. That's how you do it, my boys. There you go. Fifth duel interrupting a six win streak against Raiders Rebellion, and we're talking about Phantom Knights, right? It seemed to go first, and that was the bad thing because this dude had the full combo, I guess, right? So I'm gonna speed things up. Now you tell me in the comments if this was the best combo you could achieve. He went into Dark Rebellion Exist Dragon, and then he's gonna end up on the um, Rank Up Magic launch first to go into the Ophion. So I'm uh, out, I'm locked out of a level 5 or higher. Then he set the, um, uh, the, he's got the Terminus, he's got the Rank Up Magic Force, he's got also a Trap in the Grave, he's got Triple Sat, no summons from the, from a level 5 or higher. Plus, I guess he has the Rank Up Magic to basically turn, turn this into the Requiem. So I'm in a bad spot, right? Uh, so we can't, uh, it's Galancia, so I can't banish, but that's not a problem for us. We don't care about 
about that. But what's our problem now? That we cannot secret summon, right? So we need actually the drop card to get rid of this boy, right? So we started with the field spell. We searched for it to send the Kushan at this point. Uh, Chawa special summon. Uh, what we can do actually instead is um, it's got the droplets to negate the Chawa. What a bad play, guys. Chawa, there's nothing to do. I don't know why he did that. He just wasted that. So we went instead with the Grimro to get the Marcosia, right? And I used the effect of Kushana from the grave to discard Marcosia so that I could search for the trap card that is my way out to Ophion. So we got the trees, and at this point, we're using the other skill to get the Grimro again. Grimro again will search for the uh, Granasha. At this point, we're using the we're discarding Granasha to Avi actually on the field and to Synchro Summon what? The only thing we can Synchro Summon, Herald. So at least we have a negation plus a pop. But keep in mind, we actually have first to pop. First negate and then we can pop, otherwise the, the monster gets this, gets uh, banished. So, he started with the chop card, that's fine. He went through that, then uh, turn skills plus rank up magic force, but we can just negate the magic force. Goodbye, so no requiem is coming. He's going with that, he's going uh, he's going, he's going to go unga boonga, but at this point we got Fable Treason to get the Grimora and pop the Ophion. And with just this, we're already fine, but keep in mind that we discarded uh, the, um, the Kushano uh, and not the Cruz because we didn't need the additional monster, but if we if we needed an additional monster, we could have just discarded the Cruz. Because Cruz one discarded brings back another guy. So, yeah, he attacks, but he has no lethal. That's not gonna be enough from two cards. Look at what happens from just two cards now. Charging the Dark World to get Marcosia plus the effect of Cruz getting the Chawa. Per Synchro Summon into Raging. Raging is gonna get us a couple of cards. Then we got Grimro to grab another Cruise because we're gonna need that again. Nozuchi, Special Summon, discarding the Cruise. Cruise gets its effect again. Kushan is eating the field. Guess who's coming? Another Raging. Raging is gonna get us another double draw, and we're not done yet. Kushano to trigger the the, the the Luri into a level one. Then what we have next? The field spell. Discard both to get the Grimro. But do we need the Grimro? No, we need the effect of Cruz activated, actually triggered. So we can summon what? The Chawa back on the field. Why? One plus one is formula synchron. Draw a card. Our deck is almost finishing. But most of all, Quasar is the field, and we have already lethal. Actually, guys, I could have done more. I could have done more, but I didn't do it because I was so low on time. I was about to lose. I had like 10 seconds left. And because I had lethal, I just went attacking twice. That's how you do it, my boys. There you go. Last but not least, this was my rank up to Legend 2, but... I failed it because I misplayed. But look at this. We got all the guys over white. It's us to go first. And look at this turn one. Uh, we got the normal summon of Abang to begin with because we wanted to use Grimro, right? Then Fable to get the Grimro back and the Kushano back in the grave. Grimro's effect to get the Marcosia. At this point, first uh, we set the card, then Marcosia to get this card in the Granasia. So we got Marcosia on the field, plus Granasia on the field. First Synchro Summon into Raging, double draw. At this point, we got the cruise, pretty nice. We're getting this as a Lurie because keep in mind you first want to go into Formula Synchron and then in the end you want to go into the level into the other level five. So we went into Lurie plus Chawa combo, pretty nice. Into Formula Synchron, we draw another card. What did we do? Cruise, perfect. We don't even need we don't even need to use charge into a dark world. We can just discard Cruise with the effect of Kushana from the graveyard to get what? Another level of one. Again. Guess what? Another region is coming to get another draw, just one this time. But most of all, Quasar. And we're not done. Charge into the dark world, discarding the cruise, special summoning the cruise, and getting the level 2 tuner. Why? Because 2 plus 2 is Herald of the Arc Light. This is your double Omni Negation turn 1. That's it. That, and it's not the optimal way because you usually want to have the field spell as when you are going to play optimally. But yeah, that's it. He's got Malice effect and it is the first uh, misplay. Usually we know they play with traps. I should have negated this with the effect of Quasar. But I didn't, and I misplayed. 
that's it. That's my where my misplay comes from. It just sat triple as any alter guys does, and at this point, uh, from this point, it's just uh, I'm just going down. First misplay, I have the Herald. It started with Crackdown. I negated with Arc of the Herald Light, then Manifestation, but that's fine. I let that go. But now I know he has Conquery, so I have Conquery to negate, but I also have this to negate. Not be too much, guys. Uh, so we went with the cruise back to our hands, Kushano, to go into more special summon, right? Cruise is getting a level 4. At uh, this point, Abank also as well, to have even more attack. He's got Link Rebo's effect, but most of all, he's got Conquery. Uh, I negated that, but at this point, he's got personal spoofing uh, to basically trigger multi figures effect. And at this point, with Silky Dose, he's just gonna get rid of my Quasar and I'm done. But keep in mind that if I didn't actually have had to negate Conquery was added to his end because of Melusic, and I could have negated that. If I didn't have to negate uh, Conquery at that point, I could have just negated the effect of uh, um, of Silkidos. Why do I need to negate Conquery? Because Conquery can negate the effect of a monster on the field, Wazer. So that was my misplay, and yep, I kept on going, but actually had no more time. I lost because of time, but most of all, I lost because of my misplay. So that's what Fable can achieve. I guess if you keep on playing it, you can reach some levels that are insane of playing. Uh, my, um, I actually myself want to try more combos because you can literally throw into this Xyz plays, uh, Link's plays, because you have so many summons, you can go into Link's, guys. Don't forget, none of the Fable monsters locks you into any particular restrictions or summons. You, you can actually do anything Xyz, synchros links fusion if you would like to that's enough you can do so much many so many combos with this i really love it this is one of the most fun one guys i really hope you appreciate this let me know what you think in the comment section down below thanks a lot for watching and as always see you in the next one